She was sentenced to two years of house arrest for her work with the Open Russia movement, causing her to miss the final days of her dying daughter's life. In a new documentary, civil rights activist Anastasia, Anastasia Shevchenko chronicles her journey to spread her daughter's ashes and to build a new life for her other children outside of Russia. ABC Stephanie Ramos spoke to her about her activism, her family, and her hope for the future. So the documentary is centered around the fallout from your work with the open Russian movement, work that eventually led you to spending house arrest uh, for two years. What was that like for you? Well, first of all, mm, why I was under house arrest during two years, just because I took part in a protest against Putin. They put me under house arrest without possibility to communicate with anyone. Uh, I couldn't uh, leave the the apartment, just staying all time at home, no internet, no no communication, no phone calls, just nothing. I was separated from my elder daughter who died an, a week after the house arrest. And um, it was, um, I, I can't even describe it, how difficult it was, because I was standing in front of judge during the hearing and begging him, please let me see my daughter, she is dying in the hospital right now and she needs me she really needs me and uh, he just smiled and that's it and uh, only two days after um they let me go to the hospital and see her but uh, it was just an hour before she died <laughs> Шевченко узнала, что один из стало критическим, адвокаты обратились к следователю, чтобы матери разрешили съездить в интернат. They let me see her like for 10 minutes and I took her hand and it was cold. Like there was no life uh, in her body anymore. In a couple of hours when I went home and the investigator came and asked me to write a permission to attend my daughter's funeral. And I had to um, write every detail uh, where I am going, what I'm going to do there, what car is going to drive me there and back. Uh, and uh, of course, nobody could come up to me and say something or hug just uh, me standing there alone. This dictatorship makes so many people suffer. And I feel like this film Anastasia is uh, not about me as mom grieving about the death of her child, but this is about my daughter. And my mission is to tell her story. Looking back at your decisions to speak out against the Russian government, would you do it again? What are your thoughts now so many years later? I was asking this question to myself like hundreds of times. I decided that I won't respect myself and my children won't respect me if I just do nothing. So I don't think that was a mistake. I protest against Putin, uh, even li living abroad. And um, I, I, I risk any time I say something against him, I do risk, but I need to do it, just in memory of my daughter. We see, we see in the film your, your journey to, to say a final goodbye to her, spreading her ashes in the sea. Talk a little bit about that, and what was that like for you to, to do, be able to do that with your family? That was a very tough decision because, um, I mean, not to say goodbye, but to say goodbye in front of cameras. We all wanted it to be a private moment for, only for our family. I really convinced them that it can be important to tell her story, to show people how Russians are resisting this regime, how it's actually dangerous. For me, it was really a special moment to scatter the ashes in the sea. It was so... Uh, such a moment when I felt like it was just my daughter and me, and that's it. How's the rest of your family 
handling this change, living abroad, and also the, the passing of Alina and everything that you guys have been through? Well, after the war began, we decided to leave Russia. We had chosen Lithuania because it's very close to Russia, you know, the same time zone. And uh, my son now is studying in uh, Russian-speaking school, and my daughter is studying politics. <laughs> But imagine uh, there are so many students from Belarus and Ukraine and Russia, and all of them fled because of one dictator. And uh, some families uh, and um, their houses are ruined, their parents are imprisoned. So many sufferings just because of this dictatorship. You end the documentary very optimistic, saying you believe your children would be the generation to end this oppression. Are you still that hopeful? You know, uh, sometimes I sound naive, yeah, and very optimistic, but that's the only thing that I have hope. And um, I think Rush, uh, Russian President Putin, the only thing he wants to destroy uh, inside you, repressing you, is your hope. If you stop hoping, then you will stop struggling and fighting. You know? There is always hope. And our thanks to Stephanie Ramos for that reporting. The documentary is now streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.